have some juice. <laughs> huh? Oh. 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 Mommy, Ooh. that little squirrel has swollen cheeks. Let's take him to the vet. <laughs> These are just a cheek pals, Wufu. Do you know why that squirrel huh? has such big cheeks? <laughs> Let knowledge click. Squirrels are small rodents that live in trees all around the world. From deep forest to city park and even backyards. They love to eat nuts, fruits, young shoots, and sometimes even mushrooms or tiny insects. Squirrels have special cheek pouches on both sides that can stretch to hold a corns, walnuts, pine nuts, and more. Thanks to this, squirrels can carry food back to their nets faster instead of carrying one nerd at a time. This way, when winter comes, the weather is harsh. They still have plenty of food to eat. Come to think of it, Casper's hamster can also stuff food into hmm. its cheek pouches, right, Professor? Yes. Some rodents, like hamsters, have them too for storing food. Hamster cheeks stretch to their shoulder, letting them carry nearly twice the body weight it seeds. <laughs> Meanwhile, squirrel monkeys also have cheek pouches, but they used to hold food for a while when they need to run away from danger. Oh, then they can sit down and eat it slowly later. Hmm. So, stretchy cheeks aren't just cute. <laughs> They're actually a super smart survival trick in nature. Squirrels stuff food in their cheeks without chewing right away. But people have to chew slowly. Don't fill your mouth or you might choke. I got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. This is a Stegosaurus. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Diplodocus. And do you know what it is? Huh? Hmm. We don't know. Why have we never seen one? Dinosaurs oh. went extinct 66 million years ago. Do you want to know what happened to them? <laughs> Let knowledge play! Long ago, Dinosaurs lived all over the earth. Some were big, some were small. They walked around, hunted, or ate plants in the world full of trees, volcanoes, and big oceans. But then, something terrible happened. A giant asteroid from space crashed into the earth. A big rock from space hit the earth and make lots of dust that cover the sky. It caused earthquakes, giant waves, and volcanoes to erupt. Everything changed suddenly. With the sun blocked, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, the plant-eating dinosaur had no food. Then, meat-eating dinosaurs didn't have food either, so they disappeared too. But not all of them disappeared. Scientists believe some small dinosaurs that survive change over time and become the first you see today. So, birds are actually relatives of dinosaurs? You can say that. Don't let your dog eat chocolate! Mm. Mm. Huh? Do you know why we shouldn't let your dog eat chocolate? Let knowledge click! The chocolate we eat is made from cacao beans. 
cacao beans contain some dangerous stuff for dogs and cats, like caffeine and theobromine. bromine. When people eat chocolate, they might feel more energetic. But dogs present these chemicals much more slowly, which makes them easily to get poisoned. Besides chocolate, there are other foods dogs shouldn't eat, like avocado, onions, garlic, and coffee. Dogs are often curious about strange new foods, so we need to keep a close eye on them. Mm. <laughs> so what if a dog accidentally eats something it shouldn't? If your dog eats something bad, tell an adult and call the vet right away. <laughs> I want to fly like a bird. Ah! Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Oh. Wow! <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> How can mm. you fly, Doctor Hoot? Do you want to know the secret of birds? Ah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Let knowledge click. Birds can fly thanks to their special body structure, strength, light weight, and speed. When birds flap their wings down, their wings look like upside down spoons. They push air down, and that helps them fly up. Airplanes also use wings shaped like this. Ooh. Birds keep their wings steady and use their tails to steer and stay balanced. Flying must be super tiring. Why don't birds ever get tired wings? <laughs> That's because birds have super strong chest muscles. A bird's bones are hollow inside, like a straw, so they're super light. Thanks to this, birds are very light and can easily fly up into the sky. Wow. However, not all birds can fly. Take a close look at these birds and guess which ones can fly. We know these birds can fly. Sparrow, eagle, wild duck. That's right. And birds like ostriches and penguins can fly. But they are excellent runners or swimmers. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why cats are scared of cucumbers? Let knowledge cling! Like some other animals that gather in groups, like coyotes. Cats are known for their independent nature and usually travel alone. Because of this nature, cats always have to stay alert to their surroundings. Even a small change can trigger their fire or flight response. But what do cucumbers have to do with this? Scientists still don't have an answer yet, but there are a few theories. Thousands of years ago, cats' ancestor grew wary of snake-like shapes. This doesn't just happen with cucumbers. Sneaking anything near a cat when it's not expected can startle them. Wow! Oh! Hmm! Yeah! Kitty! Teasing <laughs> oh. a cat too much can make it stressed, panic, 
or even lose trust in you. I'm sorry. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.